my name's Issa. I'm an MHPU4, and I just drove the Fiat 500L. It is a really unique car. Um, it's got its own style, it's got its own look. I like the look of the car from the outside um, for the most part. I think it's a little bit cartoonish. Going in, like I like smaller Fiats. I think once it gets to this bigger size, it starts to look a little bit more goofy. So, ooh, I like this. Look at me, I look awesome. So I do like that this thing, um, the seat pumps up. Oh, got it. Now you look like one of those 90 year old grandmas. <laughs> I really, really love the seats. I think they're so comfortable. I feel like great. Like my head's not like pushed forward, you know, like other cars and everything. Like I feel like great. I felt like just like aligned sitting in the car, um, especially in both the passenger seat and the driver's seat. This sits up really high. Like I can see like really well. And in most cars, it's I like can't. It's like a booster seat. It's like a booster you. seat. I like it though. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I'm like, I can see the whole route. Like, I'm taller than you, right? And even in the back. I really, really love the back seat. Um, for being a smaller car, there's so much room. I would like take a nap in this car, sit down, stretch your legs out. I feel like you can comfortably fit four or five people in this car and not feel like you're suffocating. I did not like the interior. I think the brown and black interior looks stupid. I like the two-tone interior. Does I, not no, like I don't like the two tones though. Actually pretty I like two-tone interior, but I don't like the two tones right. that it is. It's you pretty look comfortable. Really cute sitting in oh, thank car. you. Thank <laughs> you. See, I look good in Fiat. Yeah. Driving it, uh, it was all right. Oh. Ooh. How you feel, Isa? I like it. Like now that I'm up here, like I can see everything. And a lot of times, like I'm too short, so I, like the dash is usually too high. So I can't really see the road, but it looks like I can see like the top of the car. Well, oh, maybe the Fiat's small enough. Ooh, I like that. I like the broomy sound. It moves well. It handles well. Um, the only thing I really had a problem with is it doesn't shift gears very smoothly. But I really do think that I look really nice in this car. I think you'll look better in the smaller one. I, oh, I should go smaller. You should definitely go smaller. <laughs> You oh. cannot gangster drive in a Fiat. No, it just you can't. doesn't. But you can. This is not even comfortable. <laughs> the radio was not my favorite. <laughs> okay, but now we gotta test the bass. Here we go. Okay, turn it on. That's better. No, it's it still not awful. good. Okay, no. no bass. Can't jam out. You want to jam out or you want to like roll your windows down have a good time in your car listen to music like that's not gonna happen yeah but you oh have you have, have controls right here you have to have everything preset. this is the call you can talk oh it has voice activation that's always good Try it, it. hi you don't you have to give it a command you okay. can't it doesn't talk to you <laughs> call home okay canceled well Overall, I think that it's a pretty decent car. If you wanna, if you have a smaller family, or if you have, if you're a single person like me, and you have to carry equipment around or stuff like that, um, I think it would be great. Just throw it in the back; it's nice and roomy. Um, there's not a ton of trunk space, but you can kind of that kind of makes up for it in the roomy back seat. I can do this. I feel, I feel nice. No, I, like I feel the, nice. <laughs> very nice. 